steady on what's good lovely people i hope everybody is doing fantastic it is a lovely lovely sunny day one of those deceiving sunny days because you go out and it's all sunny and you're like wow this is going to be a fun day out and then you get outside and it's freezing cold super freezing cold i had to run back and grab a second hoodie you forgot to say we're coming to you live but not live <laughs> all right <laughs> we're coming to you live but not live from a car driving because we're going to a nice special park this is a park me and jojo have never been to but mummy is quite the experienced park goer for this place <laughs> <laughs> someone in the comments said that they don't like it when you say live but not live someone said they don't yeah. really i saw it they said it do you know what coming out and saying we're live but not live that just kept on coming out by accident when we we're in florida like we are live from florida and, and we weren't live and then it just stuck and i just found it funny as a way to introduce the video do people yeah. like it yeah comment below <laughs> what do you think does it annoy you is it something that is just quite nice or unique let us know below be we honest know, we know one person it already is. one person likes it or one person doesn't like it oh yeah one person said they like it <laughs> is that a tie at the moment the rest of you guys need to decide which way it goes so yes we're on the way out um sam is at home he's on cat looking after duty he's off work today so he gets a lot of time to spend with the cats jamie has gone out for the day as well she's probably gone out let me think yeah that's probably the usual way that she's gone out uh no what she's gone out with her boyfriend in the car oh we come and pick her up yeah all oh, right <laughs> oh well how long until we get to this park? I don't know, about 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Good. You know sometimes when you're indoors and you're buried in a task or something that you just want to keep doing, then you just have to drop it on saying, look, it's sunny, it's beautiful, let's just get out. That's what we did today. We've been working very hard this week and we've gone out and taken Jojo places, but it would mostly revolve around things he's doing, like we're taking to play areas indoors or play dates and that. And we would just, you know, we'd still be indoors in another place and he'd run around. So we really wanted to get out, get some fresh air. I did a park run this morning and that felt amazing. And I took like a minute and a half off my time from last week and he didn't fall over this time i didn't fall over this time strange fruit you're you, <laughs> you're insistent that my falling over is due to some sort of other problem which you mentioned in your comments i assure you it's not yeah, I came 36. Check out Jojo in the back. Oh yeah, Jojo. He is looking super cool dude or what? Tell us guys, out of 10, how cool does he look? Be kind, he's only a kid. Yeah. You've got your sunglasses, your hat, your hoodie. You've got some new jacket and trousers. And your scooter's flapping around in the back there. Mummy, this doesn't look like the park. I need petrol. Need petrol. Let's film her filling up. You're gonna fill up, not me. What? No, it's cold out there. Didn't you hear me moan at the beginning? Can we talk about your obsession now? Obsession? The song thing. Oh, it's not. <laughs> That's just enjoying music. No, it's not. Has anyone ever seen? I don't watch this program, but I've seen this clip like loads of times. Oh, you're obsessed with the clip. There you are pointing your finger at me. The program's called Family Guy. <laughs> and he gets obsessed with this song, Bird is the Word, from his past, like from years ago. And will use any excuse whatsoever to like start playing this song. It was my understanding that everyone had heard. Heard what? Brian, don't! Oh, well, a bird, 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 bird. Or start singing it. Don't blame him, it's a good song. I want a bird, 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 Really? So that's a good song, isn't it? Yeah, it is done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry for that tangent, mummy. So every now and then, I'd say every couple of months, Bob just becomes obsessed with a song from our childhood. Or it might even be before we were born. Like one time it was... We're shaking a baby now, shaking a baby. Twist and shout. Comment below if you know the track. I just remember him like blaring it in the car all the time. Just obsessed with it. Just like any excuse to play. It. That's where they started. That's when I realised you had a problem. I've evolved though. I can do multiple songs at a time nowadays. Oh yeah, sometimes it's two songs. It's two at the moment. Oh man, it's two at the moment. Oh. Do you know what, what two is it at the moment then? It's that Pet Shop Boys <laughs> song. <laughs> And um, a reefer, a reefer, I can't say that. I name. knew you were waiting. I knew you were waiting Wait, say for that. me. I can't say your name. What's... And it's just like any excuse to just play these songs. And oh my god. What have I, what have I, what have I done to deserve this? But the thing is, right, it just ruins the song. I get so sick of hearing the songs. Whereas I used to like the, these kinds of songs before. Maybe you need a better musical immune system then if you're getting that sick. I'm fine. I'm not getting sick. But what happens to you is you do it, you get sick of them because you play them so many times that you just never hear from them again. Like, when do you ever listen to Twist and Shout anymore? This morning, actually, running. Did you? Yes. 
<laughs> no, I don't get sick of them. A new one comes in and takes over and has their time. And I'm like, okay, twist and shout. We had some good time. We're moving on to Pet Shop Boys now, whatever. Yeah? I'm just spreading the love. I'm giving my time to the artists who have shared their artistry with us. But you're ruining these songs for me. Oh, for you? Well, then, you know what? We've got some no, earplugs at home. Does anyone else do this? Do they just, like, get obsessed with one song? completely obsessed with one song and just keep playing the same song over and over again. It's good, isn't it? I may do it like I'll list, want to listen to the song a few times, then I think, oh, I don't want to ruin it for myself. This will be interesting. Let us know in the comments below one song that you have got into this mode where you would just play it again and again and again and again. I'm very interested oh, to yeah, see. Oh, yeah, name the songs. Tell yeah. us what songs that... What has been your vice? <laughs> but let's make it clear. It's not an obsession. It's a healthy, frequent participation. Coming to this cold, windy park was a great idea. <laughs> I love getting out. He's having fun though. Yeah. Trendy McTooty. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense, does it? To be honest, man, we're talking about nice, nasty, cool clothes. I'm loving these trousers. Nice shoes as well. Ethics Minimus shoes. Where's Jojo gone? It wasn't him, was it? Jojo? He's hiding. Jojo! <laughs> what do you think you're doing, you cheeky one? <laughs> <laughs> Where were you? Like, I was hiding like round the bush. You shouted Jojo and then I ran round the back and came out. You cheeky one. <laughs> we like games where you make us get scared that you've just disappeared from this plane of existence. Tell us what park we're in. It's the plane of back. Say it properly, I can't I'll understand. <laughs> I'll teach you to say it wrong. It's Crystal Palace Park. <laughs> yeah. Crystal Wee Park. So, oh my God. Strange Fruit's going to think he's got my falling over gene. Mummy, give us some information on Crystal Palace Park. It's very cold here. Give you fat. There's dinosaurs here. There's dinosaurs? Yeah. Dinosaurs don't exist. All right, there used to be a palace here, but it burnt down in like, I don't know what year it burnt down, like 19... Uh, 1858. 1858? 1858, I'm gonna say like 1932. Oh, that's what, that's what the year my grandmother was born. Like what? No tangents, please. Maybe you should just put it up on the screen what year that... Christmas I'm not Palace doing research. Down. Has anyone ever been to this park? Yeah, comment below if you know when the palace burned down. Mummy, you're a beautiful historian, but you need some work on your actual history. I don't like his story. It's his story. Whose story? Oh. The man that run the palace. Mummy, you do realise this is our second palace in a matter of a few weeks. We went to Alexandra Palace as well. We're palace goers. <laughs> I do like it here though. I haven't been here, but I do remember playing at the, there's a stadium over there, an athletic stadium, they have a football pitch. I played on that before. Scored a magnificent oh, goal. He's got it easy here, isn't he? I'm pulling him along. Break. Not really, mummy. <laughs> We're in the jungle. Yeah. I wish I had a jungle climate. Question of the day. Why would cows lick their lips at the milk that has been taken away from them? And why does it say peace and love? And fair what? trade. <laughs> yeah, it's not fair trade at all though, is it? What are you doing, Daddy? <laughs> why are you stripping off? It's cold. It's second hoodie time, but I need to zip up one over the top. Two hoodies, it must be cold. I've realised now while we stayed inside places most of the week, it's flipping cold out there. Oh, the whole he rip. nearly messed his hair up. <laughs> Shut up. The hat's going on anyway, hey? Heroes. Pretend we're superheroes. Oh man, I wish I was like the human torch right now. Flame on! <laughs> you're gonna be lava, girl. Why is this a dressing dress tutorial? Turn the camera on. Or a hat as well, Daddy. Yes! Hang on a sec. No! Look at what you look like. Has anyone seen Katie? Where's she gone? Oh god. You practically disappeared. Well, let's go over there. That's just where they're digging stuff. Dinosaurs are there, aren't they? Gorilla first. You know, as much as we complain, I say, oh, it's too cold and that, we would stick out here if we didn't really, really no. enjoy being out. We're happy. And he's happy, that's the most important thing. What's the gorilla saying? What's it like to see your first real gorilla? It's a gorilla! Hello! Here you go, sir. Off you go, down the hill. Keep on the brake, keep on the brake. Oh look, mummy. We seem to have um, turned up in the middle of a stag do. Oh. <laughs> uh, what creature is this then? Looks like a camel, but without the hump. Maybe a mild-mannered camel. Hello, Mr. Snowy. 
Canadian geese? Yeah. As long as it's not Canada goose. Ready? What is it? Oh my goodness! A dinosaur! Is that a dinosaur? It looks more like some sort of lizard. Did you know these dinosaurs come alive at night? Are you sure? Yeah. True. Are you not getting confused with night at the museum, I mean, are you? Night at the Crystal Palace Park? Yeah, they come alive. You're joking. Hmm, well, do you trust this face? To be honest, what they normally show you is what dinosaurs look like. I don't see anything like this. These are like just big lizards. They're Victorian. <laughs> Victorian? That's what it says on the sign. Oh, right. Yeah, oh, you're doing your historian that. stuff again. Ah! <laughs> Where's Jojo gone? Jojo! Ah, cheeky one. They're doing some building work here, but the one bit that's been left to love. Nice. We're back in the car now. Too cold. It is nice. Come, we'll come back in the summer. Yeah, it is a really nice park, I have to admit. It does some dried mango. Dried mango warms you up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nuts. It's been dried yeah. so much, it's warm. So we're going to go and head off and see our friend Felix. If you haven't seen him, so you can check out what he looks like via these pictures that are probably displaying over the top of this video now. See? Oh, there's another one. But before we go there, we wanted to discuss something and share something with you guys. Now, many of you will know that we changed the channel name from Vegan Geezer to the Geezer channel, uh, the, the Geezer family. <laughs> <laughs> don't even know what it's called. What are we? About, I don't know, four months ago now. Many people don't know though that in our heads we'd always planned that to be a temporary change. The reason we wanted to be a temporary change because we changed because it was mostly me at first, so Vegan Geezer seemed like it represented me. I was vegan and like the Geezer, the London lad and everything. It really kind of represented me. You said you wanted to be relatable, that's why you chose that name. Yeah, exactly. And it, it worked a lot. I had a lot of good feedback on that, but the channel started to evolve into a family channel we started getting a more diverse range of people coming onto the channel and more people feeling inspired by the message we're putting across so it felt natural then to change to a more family orientated channel and to bridge that between vegan geezer we thought the geezer family and many of you guys actually really suggested that and were really really supportive of that however we only wanted that to be a temporary thing to essentially bridge the gap the name that we've always had in our mind is the freedom family and the reason for that is because... All family freedom. All family freedom. <laughs> Still back and forth. And the reason for these names are is because that really represents what we feel we're about. About freedom. We want freedom for all living beings. To be able to choose to be able to what you do. That's something we aspire to have in life. And it's just the word that resonates so well with us. I'm able to work from home. We have our child out of school. And we want to be able to use our lives to inspire other people. Whereas geezer, if any of you know what the word geezer means, it's like a London lad drinking with his mates like guy about town i used to actually be like that but you say that's not you anymore no i don't do that so much you know as far as a social media entity i still go by that name and everything in talks and things like that people say what's in a name but a name should be something that represents like this you is... wouldn't call yourself mrs idiot because that wouldn't represent who you are well <laughs> Maybe it represents who I am. I love your example sometimes, <laughs> Mrs. Idiot. <laughs> if I have a channel, that's going to be what it's called, Mrs. Okay, Idiot. comment below if we should have a Mrs. Idiot channel. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so that's what our thoughts. We're going to be changing that soon. It's been something which we've been thinking about for a long time. But we want to know what you guys think as well, because you guys are very important to us. You watch, you like, you comment so much. You give us all of this support and all of this amazing feedback. And the channel's not about us, really. It's about exactly. them. They're the ones that watch it. Exactly. So we want to know what you guys think, because our aim is to have something out in the rest of YouTube rather than just a little corner of YouTube where people will just know us from the original channel we started out as. And so, yeah, this is a change that we want to do and we just want to know what you guys think but what we're going to probably pass your way is what do we call you it's always been geezer gang when it's the geezer family but what do we call you guys we could throw some names out there but if this channel is called the freedom family what would we call you guys comment below that this is all on you we put them we put them to work today haven't we yeah, I know. yeah there's been quite a bit you've got yeah. you've got some work to do guys i was thinking freedom fam or free peeps famers free famers free famers oh i don't know where it comes from sometimes <laughs> She's gone, look, she's gone. You're just Mrs. Idiot. 
Yeah, you are. <laughs> Subscribe to her. No, seriously though, guys, we are so, so appreciative of all of your support. And you guys always really come out with the answers and the support whenever we've asked for it. And so we just want to know your honest feedback. What do you think of that? The Freedom Family. Let us know below. We really appreciate it. Big love. And we've got so many travels and so many amazing adventures coming up this year. We can't wait to share them all with you. So stick with us and this channel like you've stuck with us already. And we'll just bring you more and more inspiring stuff. And if you want to meet any of us as well, in the description of every video now is listed all of the festivals we will be at. I'll tell you the next one is in Portsmouth, 4th of March. It's in the description below. Yeah. If you want to ever come and say hello, we're doing talks. Sometimes we have a stall. We're always there. You don't have to be vegan to come to these festivals. You just have to be human. Human. No <laughs> dogs. <laughs> Dogs, no, are, dogs actually allowed. are allowed. Don't be horrible to dogs. Sorry to all the dog subscribers out of there. Well, they might have dogs and they might want to bring If I dogs. see a comment, woof woof, I'm not going to be happy. For <laughs> Anyway, let's get out. We're going to go see our friends. Come and see our friends with us, Felix and Dee. She's getting the cuddles, body warm. So we're just going to see Felix now. Hi, Felix. Oh, How are you? Yeah, good, yeah, right? good thanks. Yeah. He's all right. Yeah. This place looks amazing on video. Do you remember where last year? We came last year? Uh, yeah. It's your artist, yogi, musician. Oh, namaste. How many strings to the bow are there? It's cool though, man, that you get to like I just share all your art with everyone and everyone receives it, whether they're in a yoga class. Yeah, everyone can do it. Everyone can do it, man. Just pick up a brush and start, start moving the paint around. Yeah, man. I've never seen art anything like this. I mean, when I saw your stuff at Vivolution, when you were doing the sketching and writing based on yeah. everyone's talks, and it was like a visualization of everyone's talk. That's just right there. That one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see red meat, depression. <laughs> There you go, this is it all. What's your favourite one out of all of these, Jojo? This one here. Well, that one has symbols and stuff on it. Yeah, it's got lots of different layers. Have you got a favourite, Mummy? That one. Lollipop! Yeah, that one's nice, man. This one's my favourite over here. I love how all of it runs down. And it just works so well, it's like they're all connected. Everything's connected. Maybe that's the point. So unique, man. Isn't all art unique, though? Say bye to Felix! Yeah. Tuesday, yeah? Tuesday looks yeah. good, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nice one. <laughs> so, man. Yeah, take Check out Felix, man. We're going to put some links in the description about his artwork and that. This stuff is unique. Check him out. I'm going all dark. I've got a red nose. That's how cold it is. This is the first time I've ever had a red nose. You know that? Nice, no, man. Yeah. Take it easy. We're home. What? And I am stuck straight into balls. Chocolate balls. Comment below. I'm asking you to comment below. That's right. Comment below if you want to know what goes into making these balls. I'm going to tell you now. And this ain't just blow my own trumpet. They're awesome. They're awesome. Healthy, tasty. What more can you want? Are you going to put them in a video? I might do actually, yes. Comment below if you'd like to have them in a video and know all the ingredients and secrets to my success. Don't look at the moulding process. It's giving away too much. Ooh. It's a small batch. They're not consistent with the sizes. Sort your size consistency out. This is going in very weird places. Stop hiding directly behind the camera. This is going <laughs> in weird places. Stop it now. Have some here. You got there. We recently kept on finding like a bowl or spillage around the bowl and we think who keeps knocking this and it turns out she just licks the edge and it just flicks all over and creates a big puddle. You're making a mess. Yeah, we don't give her any food but we do give her water. Yeah, she goes out for her food. So we're just tucking into some balls and some tea. Well, cups of tea for me and Katie. Jojo's got a ball as well. We're all ballers. And thanks so much, guys, for watching this video. I really appreciate all of your support, especially with this mm. channel change and everything that's come up. This will be the last change. This isn't just going to be a regular thing. This is all part of the master plan, which is trying to become a inspiring family that's helping other people around the world. And if you're new to this channel and you want to follow our journey and you're excited to see what we're up to this year, we would love it if you subscribed. But if you're already subscribed, hit that notification bell so you are kept up to date on when we upload videos. They're coming every couple of days now, but you just want to be in the know. So thanks so much, guys, and we will see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye. Bye.